all right y'all welcome back to the channel and to another turkey pattern test video this one i'm excited for because we've got some new things on the channel here so what we're going to be running today is the mossberg 835 ultimag again but we've got a new choke for it that is an indian creek 675 constriction choke and yes that gap you see between the choke and the end of the barrel there is normal for Indian Creeks. That's so you know that your threads are completely engaged down into your barrel. So with the first showing of an Indian Creek on the channel here, I figured we needed to do something a little bit special with it, I guess. So I brought back out these guys. These are the Salt Creek Custom Cold Turkeys, the 12 gauge, three and a half inch, two and three quarter ounce loads of number nines. So as any normal person would do, I figured new choke, Indian Creek, let's run the biggest load I can possibly get my hands on out of it. Makes sense, right? So as per usual, I've got the turkey target set up over here at 40 yards from the bench. So let's go over there and see how these massive three and a half inch, two and three quarter ounce salt creeks do through that Indian Creek 675. I've got a feeling it's gonna look ridiculous on the paper. All right, we're all set up at the bench with the Mossberg 835 and the Indian Creek 675 constriction. So let's put these Salt Creek three and a half inch, two and three quarter ounce load of nines through it and see what it'll do on the paper at 40 yards. All right, y'all, so this is what we got. This is complete devastation, no matter what way you look at it. Yes, the core of the pattern might be just a touch to the left here, but man, that is a decapitated turkey at 40 yards. He doesn't have a head left. And what you probably can't tell is a good number of these little circles that I had to draw on here are double or triple pellets in the same hole. That is an insane amount of shot going downrange towards a turkey. At 40 yards, that is absolutely a dead turkey. You have no voids in a good, probably 20 inches, 20 to 24 inches, all the way from the right edge of that paper, almost all the way out to the opposite edge over here of the entire target backer. That is at least 20 inches of spread where a turkey is not going to make it through that at all. That is insane. I definitely think that that Indian Creek shot pretty good with that Salt Creek shell. It's definitely not blown wide open, but it's not super, super screaming tight. Although you do have a ridiculous amount of shot right there in the middle of that target. It's not a softball sized ball and the rest is blown wide open. It's actually a pretty uniform pattern all the way across the middle there, which is what I like to see. But man, that is an insane amount of shot at 40 yards on that turkey. Well, what do y'all think about it? That is nothing short of complete devastation on that target. Even though we were just a touch to the left on that shot, he still has no head at 40 yards. That is nuts on the paper. Those Salt Creek shells perform regardless, but I definitely think that Indian Creek shows clearly some good promise out of that 835. No doubt about that. I'm definitely going to be running a ton more loads through that Indian Creek out of that 835 because I think that's going to be a very strong performer. But I got to give another thank you to the guys over at Salt Creek for wanting to send me shells like these. That is an insane performer, I gotta say. If you guys like what you've seen out of the Salt Creek guys, definitely go check them out. They're great to work with and they make a great shell. So I highly recommend going to check them out. But what do y'all think? Would you take that out in the turkey woods? I would, no doubt about it. But that is a hefty, hefty shell. You feel every bit of the recoil on that shell. And honestly, if it's anywhere inside of 40 yards, that bird might not already have a head, but <laughs> that is nothing short of devastation. I would hate to see what it looks like at 20 yards. It would be a 
softball size hole through the middle of the whole entire pallet and everything i have no doubt but leave a comment i want to know what y'all think about that is that ridiculous is that just right for you do you like that i like how it performed don't get me wrong but that is a hefty shell to carry out in the woods there's no doubt about that but it really did perform clearly but let me know what you think i i'm i'm really happy with those results and i have a feeling that you guys will be too but I've got a bunch more tests to do this afternoon before we pick up, before the rain comes in this evening. So I'm going to get to that. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Good luck getting out there in the turkey woods. And until next time, I'll see you all later.